Tahiti land is spring and we have a lot of sakura in Japan right now. I really love going outside during this period and I enjoy a lot playing games under sakura trees. Today's video is inspired by a request from my hubby. He wants to play PS5 remotely outside of home. So I found out a good solution and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further saying, let's get into the video. Okay, so you may say why not using Chiaki or PS Play Remote Play just like the other tutorials. I can tell you I've tried and in order to play over the internet, you really have to open some ports and do the port forwarding. But if your router is having a higher level of security, probably it is not going to allow you to forward the port. I mean, I've tried a thousand of times in order to do the port forwarding for both Moonlight Streaming and PS Remote Play, but it just doesn't work with my router. And for today's method that I'm going to teach you, it is going to be 100% work and hassle-free. So first of all, this method is going to work on both Apple devices and Android devices, but it doesn't work right away, so you'll have to follow the instructions. And uh, as the first step, you have to download the PS Remote Play from your Apple Store or Google Play Store. Uh, this is the official app from PlayStation Mobile. The next thing you want to do is to go to your PS5 and then go to settings. Inside settings, go to system and then after going to system, you want to scroll down to remote play and enable remote play from there. Next, go back one level and scroll down to power saving options. So in this power saving, for most of the time you have already done the settings by default, go into features available in Resmo and then turn the stay connected to internet and enable turning on PS5 from network to on so that you can uh, remotely turn on your PS5 and do all the things over internet. When we are done with the settings, we can go back to remote play and click link device. So from here, we are going to get a code and we will have to input that onto our devices, for example, our phone or handhelds. Now let's get back to our phone or Android handheld. Press sign in PSN and then you will get the screen. Enter the email address of your PSN account, then enter the password. Then enter the text message that you have received. You can also check the trusty browser box if you want to sign in easier next time. Now when you're done with the sign in and the next thing is just closing these uh, Bluetooth connection page and then we can start connecting it to our PS5. You want to make sure you're using the same Wi-Fi and if you are using LAN then you don't have to worry about that. Press OK to close the notification and it will start trying to find your PS5 through internet and we will have to wait for a while. Since this is the first time for us to connect to this device, we'll have to input the code here and you'll see the screen is now changed and we are successfully connected to our PS5. This is a once and for all settings and we don't have to do this all over again unless we are connecting to a new device. As long as we have done this process already, we'll be able to play PS5 remotely over the internet. Actually, using this app is not going to support your controller. That means you are either stick to the touch control or going to bring the PS5 controller with you, which is big and look a little bit dumb. There are only a few telescopic controllers that support the official PS Remote Play app. One of them is being the cheapest and cutest option, the GameStar X2 controller, which is released it like last month and I bought this with my own money and I really love it. You can find the affiliated link in the description box if you want to support my channel. This controller supports USB-C only, so if you are using iPhone 15 or using an Android phone, it is going to work with you. But if you are using iPhone 14 or below, then you have to go for another option which is a little bit more expensive namely the backbone one controller ps of course linked in the description box 
Okay, so let me just shortly demonstrate how it works. If you look at the right hand side, you can see that there is a white like indicator and that means we are in the mode that we can natively support the PS Remote Play app. So basically everything is going to work as it is supposed to be on a PS5. But if I change the mode by pressing the two buttons on the top, you'll see the controller is disabled and it will turn into a blue light so nothing will work so be careful if you are using this controller you have to change it back to the white mode by pressing the two buttons on the top and that's all about android phones and apple phones and let's move on to android handhelds Using an Android handheld is a little bit different because we are not relying on an external controller but relying on the key mapping function, which means we will have to choose an Android handheld with key mapping function. And that includes Odin, Odin 2, and now Pocket Air and Retro devices. Unfortunately, the controller overlay is not going to disappear because it thinks that we are controlling it through a touchscreen. Um, I can show you how I am mapping this and I can tell you if you are using an Odin device it will be a lot easier because you have extra button that you can uh, map to the touchpad and the PS buttons so stuff like that because if you are using a touch screen for the touchpad it is a little bit bad in the uh, reaction. So let me show you uh, how I'm doing this. First of all, you want to slide from the right hand side to bring the key mapping function. And then here is how I am mapping it. Um, basically for all those buttons, it's going to be more or less the same. And uh, you can also arrange your own mapping. Just like I mentioned, mapping an extra key to the touchpad, for example. So yeah, that's pretty much about how you can bring your PS5 with you to anywhere as long as you have internet through the Remote Play app. I hope you find this tutorial useful and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in this kind of content. My target of this channel in this year is getting 4,000 subscribers and I'm currently at the 3.5k mark almost there so it will be great if you can just support my channel by subscribing and liking this video as a bonus clip i want to show you some sakura in japan and i hope you enjoy it